Welcome to Get Your FRQ On. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to graph sine and cosine functions on your graphing calculator. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your y equals editor. And then I'm just going to do sine of x. And on the other one, I'm going to do cosine of x. I'm going to exit out of here by going second quit. And then, before I graph this, I'm going to go back to mode and explain that this is going to look different depending on whether or not you are in radian mode or degree mode. Uh, keep in mind that the period of uh, the sine function is 2 pi if you're in radian mode, and it's 360 degrees if you're in degree mode. Why does that matter? Well, the window we set for this graph, if we're in degree mode, in order to see one period, my window would have to contain 360 different integers. So I could go 0 to 360, or if I'm in radian mode, I could cut that down considerably. Uh, it depends on the context. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to go to radian mode, make sure I'm in radian mode, and then if I graph this, I do get both graphs, but these tick marks on the x-axis correspond to integers. And when you're in radian mode, that's not really all that helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to window. And I'm going to try to make this a little bit more meaningful of a scale for my graph for radian measures. So I'm going to go to window. And let's say I want to go uh, negative 2 pi to 2 pi. And then this is where it matters. My x scale determines how far apart those marks on the x-axis are going to be. Uh, it's radian, so you could go something like pi sixths, pi fourths, pi halves. Or, if you want to pick up all of those, you could go pi twelve. That will give me all the pi sixths, pi fourths, and pi thirds. Uh, in this case, I'm only doing sine and cosine, so my y minimum for the graph is only going to be negative 1, so I'll make the graph minus 2. And the maximum, I'll make positive 2. And then maybe I'll make this uh, 0.5. And now when I graph it, right, all of these marks correspond to pi somethings, and I get a much better indication of what these graphs look like when I'm graphing them in terms of radians. Right? If I want to look at it in terms of degrees, I can go back, change it to degree mode, uh, and then look what happens. It's very subtle because my scale is only from zero or from negative six point something to six point something, but my angles need to go from like negative 360 to 360. So if I want this in degrees, I have to change this to Minus 360, positive 360. Uh, let's go in terms of 15 degrees. And I get something similar, but this is in degree mode. Uh, so a couple of things you have to be careful about when you're graphing trigonometric functions on a graphing calculator. Your window needs to match your mode. Right? If you're in degree mode, uh, chances are you need a fairly wide window. If you're in radian mode, you can get away with a much more narrow window. 